in a kingdom shrouded in the mists of time. There reigned a mighty king whose wealth and power knew no bounds. His kingdom, nestled amidst rolling hills and verdant forests, was the envy of all who beheld its beauty. With riches beyond imagining and treasures beyond compare, Yet, despite his vast fortune and his majestic palace of gold, the king harbored a secret sorrow that gnawed at his heart like a serpent's fang. For the king's beloved daughter, the fair and gentle Princess Helena, had fallen gravely ill, her once luminous eyes dimmed with the shadow of sickness. Desperate to save his daughter from the clutches of death, the king sought the advice of the wisest sages and the most skilled healers in the land. But none could offer him a cure for her ailment. In his despair, the king turned to darker forces, striking a bargain with a mysterious stranger who appeared before him in the dead of night, promising to restore Princess Helena to health in exchange for a terrible price. The stranger led the king to the summit of a distant mountain, where a great golden castle stood gleaming in the moonlight. This was the realm of the King of the Golden Mountain, a powerful and enigmatic ruler whose dominion extended far beyond the mortal realm. With a heavy heart and a sense of foreboding, the king entered the castle, where he was greeted by the sight of the King of the Golden Mountain himself, seated upon a throne of solid gold. The King of the Golden Mountain offered the king a deal in exchange for his daughter's life, the king must relinquish his own soul and serve as a servant in the Golden Mountain for seven years. Desperate to save Princess Helena, the king agreed to the bargain, sealing his fate with a solemn vow. For seven long years, the king toiled in the service of the king of the Golden Mountain, his days filled with endless toil, and his nights haunted by visions of his beloved daughter. But as the years passed and his time of servitude drew to a close, the king's thoughts turned to Princess Helena and the kingdom he had left behind. Determined to return to his kingdom and reunite with his daughter, the king begged the king of the Golden Mountain to release him from his vow. Moved by the king's devotion and his unwavering love for Princess Helena, the king of the Golden Mountain granted his request, restoring him to his rightful place as ruler of the kingdom. Reunited with Princess Helena and filled with gratitude for his second chance, the king vowed to cherish every moment he had with his daughter and to live each day as if it were his last. And as the kingdom rejoiced and celebrated their king's return, the king knew that no treasure in the world could compare to the love he shared with his beloved daughter.